Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy back with a new quick win. So today we will implement a simple PDF creation inside our Ionic app. And first of all, I've started the blank new Ionic app and then I'll go ahead and install three packages. So the first is the PDF make library. And this is what we use to create a PDF. There are a few more libraries on the market, but the PDF make actually is one of the best, I think. Then we install two Ionic native plugins and let me run the Cordova plugin ad for both of them as well. So um, it's the Ionic native file opener, which we will use to uh, open our PDF files and the Ionic native file package to uh, save the PDF file. So save with file, open the PDF with file opener and make sure to add the Cordova plugins for both of them. So Cordova plugin file and the other one is Cordova plugin file opener 2. So the file opener 2 will help us to um, actually um, use a native file opening dialog for um, the PDF files. So uh, let's continue by importing both of our Ionic native packages. So this is file from at ionic native file. And then um, let's see, I can also bring in the view, although uh, we will have to test this on a device later for now. Uh, let's add the view as well. So file from ionic native file and file opener from at ionic native file. Uh, guess what? Opener. Okay. And both of them should go to the array right here. So file and file opener there. And now we're good here. So let's continue with our home HTML and TS. So for the home HTML, um, what we're gonna do is add a few input elements. So add ion item, um, I will add a label as well, looks nice. And we will just capture a few inputs so we can dynamically add those to um, the PDF we're gonna create. And we will store them inside a letter object. So the first one is from, perhaps your from name. Um, then we got to, so the name to which you want to send it perhaps. And then we add also an ion text area uh, looks nice if you want to capture um, a bit more of text so you can add like um, a variable for rows and then you will get this amount of rows. Additionally, we need uh, two buttons, ion button full and on click we want to call a function create PDF and this is create PDF. And the second button, um, again, but perhaps let's use color secondary. And this will call download PDF. Also, um, we want to disable this button, disable um, until we've created a PDF. So this will be stored inside the PDF object variable in a second. Okay, let's run this. Um, of course, it is disabled, not disabled. Um, and then we need our object inside our home page. So we got from, we got to, and we also got the text. Okay, I will add some dummy values here um, so we can directly use this um, and let's copy a little little bit of text, um, whatever, not really needed for you, but so we can see we got some dummy values and then we got our view from to text and two buttons. So that's what we wanted to achieve and now we can actually start. So we had this PDF object as well, uh, which we will set later. And inside the constructor, we need a few more things. So we will use the platform later to distinguish between the web and the Cordova device. Uh, then we got the file 
which is the Ionic native package we've installed before. And then we also got the file opener um, using file opener from Ionic native. All right. Um, the functions we've implemented or want to implement are create PDF. So this is the first to call. And then we got download PDF as well. So um, let me copy in uh, something because the typing is not really needed here. So inside create PDF, uh, we create something called the doc definition, which is needed for our PDF make library. Um, and by saying this, um, I forgot to import the PDF make. So import PDF make from another path, the bit uh, tricky, but it's inside PDF make build PDF make. So this is the right path for the PDF make. But uh, when you run this, you will get an error because there's some fonts missing and you can fix this by calling import to PDF fonts and those are uh, right here also inside the build folder and now you need to um, set on our pdf make the actual fonts um, okay it's a bit tricky and of course i found the solution somewhere online but these two lines help to prevent uh, from crashing and fixes that some fonts are missing. You can give it a try without and you will see that this will um, fix the problem. So um, this is our app for now. As I said, the doc definition is needed to create a new PDF object. And inside the doc definition, you can add a bunch of things. Um, first of all, we got a big content array, uh, which contains our actual text so um, you can add a text in this case a time string you can add a special style property alignment um, we are using the object we had before for the from field for the to field and also for the actual text um, you can set the style either a style property or directly use something like margin here um, regarding the styles you can see header subheader or story and right after the content uh, object there's a styles object and this styles object defines those styles so header subheader story um, with a few more attributes font size bold whatever you like and also just for for the fun i added uh, something like this you can have ordered lists unordered lists you can have tables and you can do all kinds of crazy things to create your own pdfs and this is why i choose pdf make for this tutorial um, because it's really, um, first of all, easy to use, but it's also flexible so you can create uh, dynamic PDFs and they can look really great. So with all that said and with our doc definition object, uh, which is hopefully this, yeah, um, we can now go ahead and call or actually set our PDF object and we use the PDF make create PDF with our doc definition and this line is enough to create a new pdf object and we simply store it right here um, this is no asynchronous call so if you want you can directly uh, chain the next one right here and put the download command right here but i wanted to put it uh, in another function um, just to have two buttons and enable them i don't know uh, you don't have to so for the download pdf we now um, need to, as I said, distinguish between our actual platform. So if the platform is Cordova, we need some tricky things and else it's pretty easy. In the else case, we can call download on our object created by PDF make and let's see what happens. So we got this text, we got this stuff, we hit create PDF and then we should hit, of course, download PDF. So let's see, create, download, um, and I got the error, which I hope to prevent with the lines up there. So let's see what's wrong. 
Um, PDF funds, ah, okay, there's one thing missing. It's inside this package, hopefully. Let's give it a try again. Yeah, so as you can see, this line or those two lines are pretty important. And now I can open this file and you see um, our doc definition, the reminder is more or less a header. The current date string is on the right. Then we got those two with a subheader styling and our variables. Then we got a little bit um, a center text right here. And then we got a little list right here. So this is our PDF file. And then the browser, as you can see, no problem, simply download works. But this is not working on a device. And therefore we need um, to convert our PDF object uh, to a blob and then write this blob file to Cordova data directory and then open it. But let's go through all of this. So what we can call on the PDF object is get buffer. This will give us a buffer object, which we can then use to call um, some conversion to UT um, F8. So new uint um, 8 array using the buffer. Then you can convert it to a binary array calling um, the buffer, um, perhaps. I'm not sure, perhaps we could directly use this buffer, but um, let's uh, keep it like this. And then you can finally create the blob object and uh, use new blob with our binary array. And for the blob, we set the type to be application PDF. So it will be recognized as a PDF once it is stored, hopefully. So now we got the blob and now we make use of our Cordova plugin and call write file. So first is the pass. And here we use simply the data directory um, of our app. The second one is the file name and I will just call it my letter dot PDF. Then we got the actual blob, which is our blob. And finally, we could specify some options. So I will um, add replace true, which will always overwrite our file. This is a promise which will return a file entry and now you don't really need this file entry but we use the file opener and call open and we already know the path which is um, exactly this but of course with a plus um, and also the file mime type is missing but we know the mime type should be this because we've said this before so now we can open the file. Okay, actually this is already enough. Um, let me hit the Cordova command um, and then I will close this for now. So as you can see, if you're just using it on the browser, it's super easy. Um, if you use it on a device and want to download, store, share the PDF file, we need to get a bit more tricky right here and convert the object um, to a blob file. Perhaps those two lines are not necessary. I'm not completely sure in this moment. Um, I will give it a try without, but those two lines help us to write the file to our app file. And then once it is written, we can simply use the native file opener, which will give us a nice view. So let's see this on a device in action. Okay, so here's the app on a simulator. Again, the fields and the text I've previously added. So now I can hit create PDF and download PDF. And what we see is the preview for PDFs on iOS. And uh, although my zooming is not so good, uh, you should see that it's still the same. And um, by using this preview, we also got the benefits of the sharing dialogue so on a device, you could now open the email, open Twitter, whatever, and share this PDF directly with your users. So this is how you can easily create a PDF 
um, perhaps give a try to remove these lines and directly use the buffer object uh, for the blob might work as well. But in general, this is a really powerful library. So um, check out PDF make their documentation and how to create more powerful PDFs. But following these steps, you can get it working for both um, your Cordova device using a little hack or directly inside the browser with just one line. And that's how you create a PDF file using Ionic and PDF Make. For more great um, Ionic content, also check out the Ionic Academy, which offers training, videos, courses, and a great community that will help you to get started and learn Ionic a lot faster. So check it out and I will see you inside the next video. Have a great day and take care.